Welcome to UBC Library Tutorials. This tutorial is about data management using SPSS recoding. I will demonstrate recoding using demo SAF database and I'm going to work with data age. Let's imagine that we want to recode this scale to a categorical variable. First, let's have a look at the description of age to see what is the mean, minimum, and maximum so we can determine the borders of our categories. Here we have the mean of 42, minimum of 18, and maximum of 77, and we have 6400 data. We come to transform, recode into different variables because I do not want to overwrite the age category, the age variable that I have now, I do not choose recode into same variables. So recode into different variables is the one that we are interested at. We select age, push it to the other side, we need to give it a new name. So let's give it name HC as age for category and a new label. When I push change, a new name will appear. I'll go to old and new values. Now I know what is the minimum that I have to work with. So I can say range lowest true value. I can say anything below 20 will get a new code called 1. A range of 21 to 30 will give a code of 2, range of 31 to 40 will give it code 3 and we just continue creating all these categories till we feel that we have enough categories the very end category could be range value true highest, so 51 true highest because I think there wouldn't be any uh, too many of these in our database. So now I can click continue, click change, OK. The output information will verify that I have done the category and if I go to frequency look for the new variable that I created at the very end I can see the variable is created for me I can provide labels by going to data view variable view and define the, the variables as I just created. So these were below 20, this was 21 to 30, 3 was 31 to 40, 4 was 41 to 50, and finally our fifth category had anybody above 51 years of age. I will get rid of the decimal right here and I'll do the process of getting the frequency one more so you can see that the categories are created as you want it. Okay. So this is the end of this tutorial. For more information please contact my email or use the following resources. Thank you.